Hey everybody, this is Megan from the Missouri River Regional Library. Uh, today I'm bringing you a project uh, for our DIY homesteading event. Um, today we're going to be making a do-it-yourself composting bin, so let's get started. All right, so here are some of the materials that you're gonna need. Um, you're gonna need a container with a lid. I am using a five gallon bucket with a lid here. In addition, um, you're also going to need some dry scraps. Here we have some shredded newspaper and some dry leaves, those leaves that I just got from my backyard. You're also going to need your compost material. Here I have some old coffee grounds um, and some old shredded apple. Uh, you'll notice that the apple is in smaller bits. Um, this way they can decompose a little better. In addition, you're also going to need a hand shovel, some gloves, and a handy dandy drill. Uh, this drill, I have attached a drill bit, and this drill bit is a fourth of an inch because uh, of the size of my bucket. Um, you'll also need some soil, uh, which we're going to put into the container. All right, so now we're gonna get to drilling. Uh, you'll notice that I put my holes equidistant from each other. Uh, so I started on one end. Um, as you can see in just a second, I will put a hole right here and then I will put another hole on the opposite side from that first hole. Um, this is just to make your holes a little more uniform and a little more uh, evenly spaced out. Um, I thought that that would be best in terms of uh, even air circulation, which is what you want. Um, I also drilled a few holes in the side. Um, sorry, the camera is a little blurry there, but uh, I put holes in the side and there's one hole and then I turned it around and put one on the opposite side. So um, this I'm going to continue um, several times around the outside. Now I only did uh, two layers um, on the side of the bucket but uh, as you can see all of those are are equidistant from each other so here i have two sets of holes and again um, they're pretty evenly spaced uh, and i didn't go any further down than that because i didn't want soil to spill down from the side but uh, and i also put extra holes in the top um, you can put as many or as few holes as you want or think that you need and now I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in, do our first step, which is take our uh, hand shovel and I'm going to go down and start filling this container with the soil. Uh, and in a second, it should be all filled up just like that. Okay, so um, I, for the size of bucket that I used, um, you'll notice that I only put um, a few inches in there. Um, that's probably about two and a half or three inches down there. And uh, that's all you need for a bucket of this size. You're gonna need more or less depending on um, what size of container that you have. All right, uh, our next step is going to be putting in the dry materials. You're going to want an even layer of dry materials um, on top of your soil. One of the things you want to remember is that with a compost bin, you want your dry and wet materials to be kind of even. Um, so after you do this, you'll put your compost into the bucket after your dry materials. I will also say that air filtration is important and if you decide to screw holes in the bottom of your bucket, I recommend using a tray um, because otherwise you don't want your, uh, your holes to kind of leak all over your deck or your porch or what have you. Once you've put your compost in your bucket, you want to make sure that you kind of uh, dig around in it once a week, uh, kind of turn over the soil and the dry bits and the compost as well to make sure that they're getting, getting good air filtration. And now for a few tips and tricks. Uh, so with your compost bin, um, you want to make sure that you add your food scraps as soon as you get them um, to make sure that they don't, um, you know, sit in your kitchen or smell or anything like that. Um, you also want to make sure that your scraps are as small as you can possibly make them to make sure that they break down correctly. Uh, they'll just go, it, they'll break down uh, better that way. 
um, in your compost bin and the most and that's definitely what we want is for them to break down um, you'll also need to mix your compost once a week and when you do that make sure that you add a half a scoop of new soil when you do um, just to make sure that the balance is right uh, if your bin starts to smell, it means that your balance of wet and dry is off. And that means you need to add more dry scraps. And if that doesn't take care of the problem, um, then you possibly need to add additional holes in your bin. Uh, also, make sure that you know what items can and cannot be composted. Uh, kitchen scraps are great. Um, and grass clippings and stuff like that, but items like ashes or animal products such as meat, dairy, um, even some oils, things like that um, cannot be composted. Um, a great guide can be found at the website below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.